so today we're going to start with a new family a very interesting one and that is known as the papaveraceae family the opium family what are the main remedies in this family the main remedies in this family include apomorphine argimon mexicana chalidonium codinum corridalis fumaria heroinum morphinum opium sanguinaria canadensis and sanguinaria nitricum so to come up with a group theme of all these remedies what i have done is exactly what we have done in the previous class that was in the ranunculaceae family that i took rubrics in which there are two or three remedies that belongs to papaveraceae family and the size of rubric must not be more than 50 remedies which means ki what is true for one part or what is true for few remedies of a particular family in a particular rubric shows that that becomes a characteristic symptom of that particular family say for example if we have a rubric which is having maximum of 20 remedies and out of those 20 remedies we have few remedies may example two three or four remedies belonging to papaveraceae family and all the other remedies may belong to some other groups maybe minerals plant or animals but the main remedy three or four belongs to papaveraceae family in a rubric which contains only 20 or 25 remedies which means that these remedies shows or depicts the group theme of that particular rubric right so let us study how we did that so when i put okay, i need a three or four remedies of papaveraceae family in a rubric which should not be more than 20 or 25 remedies so the first rubric that came to me was sleep overpowering while talking which means that the patient sleeps while talking in this rubric there are total number of 10 remedies and out of those 10 remedies we have three remedies belonging to papaveraceae they are chalidonium morphinum and opium this is one rubric so which shows that this sleep overpowering has a very very characteristic of papaveraceae family because there are very few remedies in this rubric and main remedies are from papaveraceae group of remedies another rubric there is also a symptom heaviness occiput difficult to raise head again this rubric contains only four remedies in the repertory and two of them are from papaveraceae and they are chalidonium and opium another rubric contented forgets all his ailments and pains so again what does this show that the patient forgets all the complaints all the pains all the sufferings and he is totally in a contented state again a very very strong rubric of Papaveraceae, why? Because this rubric contains only five remedies, and out of those five remedies, two remedies belongs to Papaveraceae, and they are heroinum and opium. So just try to think, is it making sense? We are taking very small rubrics, and in that small number of rubric, or small rubric which contains very few remedies, the main remedies are from Papaveraceae group. Another rubric, so this is an eye chapter so there is dilatation of pupils mitriasis and insensibility which means pupils are dilated and are insensible beautiful so this rubric contains only 11 remedies out of those 11 remedies two remedies belongs to papaveraceae family and they are apomorphinum and opium right is it not is it not something different then again we have another rubric anxiety with faintness so the moment the patient experiences anxiety there is fainting spells this rubric contains 22 remedies and now out of those 22 remedies two remedies belongs to papaveraceae they are opium and morphinum again and then again there is another rubric there is stupefaction as if intoxicated on waking 
So the moment the patient wakes up in the morning, he feels stupefied. There is insensibility. Usse kuch samaj nahi nahi aata ki kya ho raha hai, kya nahi ho raha, aas paas ka kya hai, kya nahi hai. It's as if he is not connected to the real world the moment he wakes up. This is stupefaction. And this rubric contains total number of 33 remedies. And out of those 33 remedies, three remedies belong to Pepperberry's. Chalidonium, Codinum, and Opium. And then again, there is another rubric that is sleep. Sleepiness evening from 7 p.m. to 9 a.m. So this rubric have only two remedies and both the remedies, they belong to Papaveraceae, Chalidonium and Narcotinum. Again, a very strong rubric for Papaveraceae again. So what can we learn from all these rubrics? Just, just go over it. Sleepiness, stupefaction, faintness, insensibility, contented where he is forgetting all the pains and uh, sufferings, difficulty to raise up the head, he's so heavy, overpowering sleep. So all these rubric, what is it showing? So we can deduce that the main symptom or the main theme or the main rubrics there that are coming again and again with Papaveraceae family has to do with sleepiness, heaviness, stupefaction, unconsciousness and coma. So this is the one side of the story in Papaveraceae because few rubrics, they contain all these rubrics, all these symptoms which have very few remedies in those rubrics. So that means there must be some connection of these symptoms, that is sleepiness, heaviness, stupefaction, unconscious and coma with the Papaveraceae. There has to be some connection. So this is one side of the story. So let's move further. Right? So next, we have some other group of rubrics also. And the rubric is head pain, drawing vertex extending to nape of neck. So again, this rubric have only two remedies and they both belong to Papaveraceae group of remedies or Papaveraceae group. Then again, there is another rubric, sleepiness in pneumonia, which means that there is some trouble at the physical level and with that physical trouble, the patient is very sleepy. So this rubric contains again only five remedies and out of those five remedies, Two remedies belong to Papaveraceae. They are Chalidonium and Opium. So this is another story that is going parallel with the all those insensibility, the sleepiness, the unconsciousness, the anesthesia. So this is again running parallel to that. So we'll come to, the, to this conclusion what will happen next. So again, let us study one more rubric. So there is another rubric, stupefaction as if intoxicated after apoplexy. So now what is apoplexy? Brain hemorrhage, cardiac attack. So again, there is something happening at the physical level, which is causing stupefaction as if intoxicated at the mental level. Again, this rubric contains 11 remedies. And out of those 11 remedies, again, we have two remedies belonging to papaveraceae, And they are morphinum and opium. Opium is very, very strong in this rubric and it is the fourth grade remedy in this rubric. Then there is another rubric, unconscious coma in apoplexy. So this unconscious coma from the material medical point of view, we know that it's a very good symptom for opium. Opium is a well-known remedy for comatose condition, the stupor, stupefaction, unconsciousness. So, but this rubric contains 22 remedies and out of those 22 remedies, again, we have two remedies belonging to Papaveraceae, that is Chalidonium and Opium. Again, in the sub rubric, we have another sub rubric that is unconscious coma in apoplexy in old people or in drunkards, single remedy Opium. Again, the sub rubric again, one more is unconscious coma in apoplexy with difficult respiration. Again, there are two remedies out of which one is opium, the fourth grade main remedy. So is it making any connection? Let's see that. 
so at one point one part of the story is there was few rubrics which have this very strong theme of sleepiness painlessness unconsciousness comatose condition insensibility and on the other hand we have these symptoms coming out strongly and they are pain apoplexy and suffering so can these two things be connected let us study so if this symptom the sleepiness painlessness unconscious is true for peperacy family then it must be depicted in the main other remedies of this group also so we can go with the repertory and see that the main remedies like chalidonium opium sanguinaria morphinum does these remedies have something to do with sleepiness painlessness and unconsciousness so what we did was we try to study the rubrics of all these remedies and see to it whether these remedies contain these symptoms of sleepiness painlessness or unconsciousness so what we did was we took out rubrics opium has a symptom painlessness of complaints usually painful again so means this deduction is true for opium opium has this symptom with chalidonium there is again a rubric numbness with somnolence which again shows the character of painless numbness and anesthesia there is another rubric of chalidonium that is numbness of the affected part again which shows that chalidonium have numbness in it chalidonium have painlessness in it chalidonium has anesthesia in it and then other remedy morphinum morphinum has a symptom numb feeling all over morphinum has symptom sleepiness with the pain morphinum has rubric sleepiness oppressed by grief which means that morphinum again have this character of painlessness numbness and anesthesia in it so our deduction is now getting true that yes there is something these remedies has to do something with painless and this is a common theme of all these remedies then with sanguinaria we have again a rubric sleepiness with heaviness of head so again there is sleepiness with some kind of suffering then there is again sleepiness reading aggravate so the moment the patient studies or reads he get he goes sleepy and then sanguinaria again has a symptom which is very common with opium that is painlessness of painful complaints again this shows the character of painless numbness and anesthesia in it so the out of the four main remedies for peperacy family they have this symptom of painless numbness and anesthesia so we can deduce that yes this is the main theme or the sensation or the group symptom of peperacy and that is painless numbness and anesthesia now if this is true then what about the pain so we have deduced that pain suffering is a symptom of peperacy so can we find that same pain with all of these remedies let us do that so if we study the pains of all these remedies again what we have done is we have selected a very small rubric and out of those small rubric let us see whether we can find a remedy which belongs to peperacy so there was a rubric abdomen pain drawing convulsive spasmodic this rubric have chalidonium and sanguinaria so which shows that yes pain is there in these group of remedies then there is another rubric head pain tearing rending temples motion during so this rubric again have chalidonium and sanguinaria then another rubric rectum pain general convulsive spasmodic this rubric again have chalidonium and sanguinaria so what we can see is what is coming out is the character of pain so pain which is drawing pain which is convulsive pain which is spasmodic so this convulsive spasmodic pain now become a characteristic of these group of remedies then again there is abdomen pain cramping gripping wandering opium and sanguinaria which means the pain again becomes a main symptom of papaveracy 
family. So at one hand, we have all the insensibility, numbness, sleepiness, comatose, unconsciousness. And on the other hand, we have pain, which is very, very intense, means pain, which causes convulsions, pain, which is very spasmodic. Pain, which comes suddenly like a spasm, like a paroxysm. Right. So am I getting it clear? Say yes, if you're if, if it is getting clear to you right in the chat box. Anything which you're not understood. Yes. So there's and all of you are saying yes. So let's move further. Now, what we have concluded from all this is pain which is violent, convulsive, intense, gives rise to numbness, painlessness, and anesthesia. So we have combined both the things. At one hand, we have pain, which is violent and convulsive, which is very, very intense, leads to painlessness, numbness, and anesthesia. So we can say that the patient undergoes severe pain. Pain is so intense, so intense, that it leads to numbness or painlessness. कि इतनी ज्यादा सफरिंग कर ली इतनी ज्यादा सफरिंग एक्सपीरियंस कर ली या इतना ज्यादा पेन एक्सपीरियंस कर लिया कि अब पेन पेनलेस हो गया वो पेन अब कोई फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता वो एनेस्थेटिक कंडीशन में चला गया दिस इज व्हाट दिस मीन सो व्हाट वी हैव डन इन दिस लेवल इज द हियर अप टिल नाउ द कोजेशन इज एट द फिजिकल लेवल which means that there is intense pain or suffering at the physical level which is causing numbness sleepiness or anesthesia at the mental level so similarly can something be done or something at the physical level be caused by the mind so we have seen that there is intense suffering at the physical level so if it is true for the body it must be true for the mind so there could be suffering at the mental level also so we did another search for that and what was the search we come to know that at the mental level again we have some rubrics and that is convulsions spasms from fright so here the causation is at the mental level intense ki the patient is so much frightened so much frightened that it's caused convulsions or spasm in the physical body and then there is also a condition that after fright the patient is so much frightened that he goes into a cataleptic condition total insensibility total loss of consciousness this is another state then there is another dreams burying buried alive so just think for a moment that if you are buried alive what would be your condition what would you experience is it not a very painful condition is it not a very intense condition that you have been buried alive in the earth then this also have ailments from shock ailments from fear and fright where fear is still remaining kitna strong dar se guzre ki aaj bhi wo dar dimag mein aisa baitha hai ki jaise abhi wo 2 ghante pehle hi hua itna zyada then convulsions grief after so normally grief ke baad हमें हेड होगा भूख लगनी बंद हो जाएगी किसी से मिलने का मन नहीं करेगा बट जस्ट लुक एट कन्वर्जन आफ्टर ग्रीफ इट मीन्स दैट ग्रीफ इज एक्सपीरियंस सो इंटेंसली सो इंटेंसली दैट इट हैज कॉज कन्वर्जन सो ऑल दीज रूब्रिक्स शोज दैट दीज इमोशंस द फ्राइट द शॉक द ग्रीफ इट मस्ट बी इंटेंस इन टू गो इन टू द कन्वर्जिव और कैटेलेप्टिक स्टेट विच मीन्स that at the mental level the suffering that the patient feels or experiences or suffers must be very very intense in contrast we have done ranunculacy also we have done that ranunculacy also is a very sensitive remedy since to pain but there is very trifles thing that aggravate kisi ne ignore kar diya problem ho gayi kisi ne pucha nahi problem ho gayi har choti choti cheez tang kar rahi thi but yahan pe जो इमोशंस आ रहे हैं दे आर वेरी वेरी इंटेंस दे आर नॉट ट्रिपल्स छोटे मोटे इमोशन नहीं है इमोशन आ रहा है तो इतनी इतनी ज्यादा इंटेंसिटी में आ रहा है कि पेशेंट कैटालेप्टिक हो रहा है पेशेंट कन्वर्जन में जा रहा है इतना ज्यादा सफर कर रहा है कि 10 साल के बाद भी वो डर ऐसे बैठा हुआ है कि अभी दो दिन पहले हुआ हो आई डेस आई विल डिस्कस वेन आई विल स्टडी द रेमिडीज 
so we can say that there is intensity of symptoms or intense suffering at the physical level also there is intense suffering at the mental level also which is again causing convergence catalepsy or numbness and sensibility so are you with me say yes if you're understanding all these things Yeah, somebody said buried alive wala point samaj nahi aaya so what i mean buried alive is ki just think for a moment ki aapne ek bahut bada khadda khoda earth ke andar aur uske andar aapne kisi ko kisi ko aap mein dal diya gaya aur upar se mitti dal di gayi just imagine ki aap ek kafan mein band ho gaye aur wo dharti ke andar 5 foot 10 foot andar aapko buried alive aapko alive niche rakh diya gaya what would happen just try to imagine the scene kitni itni aapko zinda gaad diya gaya aap kya experience karoge is it not a painful condition it's very painful koi bhi wo wo nahi jhelna chahega aisi condition that is buried alive so can we move forward yes let's move forward what is next so we have seen up till now ki at one point there is intense suffering at the physical level there is intense suffering at the mental level which is causing sleepiness catalepsy dumbness anesthesia comatose sleepiness at the mental level so now what is all this 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 comatose this sleepiness this unconscious right this stupor this stupid action all these things are a condition just to avoid or to withdraw from the painful condition right so let's move forward so we can see here that we have two things one is the intensity of suffering which is both mental and physical which gives rise to painless numb feeling sleepiness unconsciousness and meditation which means ki all these condition the painless the numbness the sleepiness the unconsciousness the coma all these are the effort of the being consciousness or the vitality vital force to withdraw himself from the painful conditions so all these are just the withdraw from the painful condition so the moment i think about all this or we think about all this we come to the story of buddha what buddha did was he saw three truths three human sufferings what were they one was the old age one was the suffering or the sickness and third was the death so this these three bitter truths which buddha saw led him to the path of meditation so what we can deduce again from the story of buddha is that he saw some th three painful truths of life before that he was in his own palace no tension no stress no suffering nothing at all he was protected from the real life the moment he came into real life he saw these three sufferings which are very very intense which are the real truth of life and what he did was when he saw monk that there is only one way to get rid of all these sufferings of humanity whether at the physical level whether at the mental level and that is by meditation and what is meditation it's a sign it's a way where you cut off from the real world and you go into the other world where you experience no pain calmness contentedness you don't feel anything so from intensity of suffering to total painless to total insensitivity that was the story of buddha so we can say that buddha story belongs to story of papavarsi right so the main theme or the sensation of papavarsi family can be deduced from all these work is pain intense pain pain of any sort but with great intensity this same thing could be seen in the mental level by torture intense suffering punished war murdered executed violence fright and shock 
the fright and shock of intense pain and torture, which we can say hell. So the whole story of hell and heaven belongs to papyracy, where the hell is very, very painful, where the heaven, heaven is no pain, no suffering, total calmness. So it could be the tortured chamber of the hell. This is the main sensation or theme of papyracy group of remedies. So now just try to think when we take opium, why we take opium? Opium is taken to relieve the painful suffering of humanity or painful suffering. And then this is the basic experience that the patient experiences. And then the main first reaction when you experience intense pain, when you feel tortured, when you feel murder executed, when you feel that fright and shock, the first reaction, the passive reaction becomes analgesia, coma, and fainting, catalepsy, narcolepsy, painless and numb, alive yet dead, hibernation, meditation. This is the first reaction, the passive reaction. And then the active reaction would again be the intense pain, pain which causes rage, violence, spasms, convulsions, colics, numbness alternating with pain. That is the active reaction. And then again, the compensation is peaceful, serene, tranquil, untouched by pleasure or pain, which is exactly the story of Buddha. So he saw intense suffering. With that intense suffering, he worked on the way to get rid of all these things by showing no reaction, whether it's passive or whether it's active. So he went into the peaceful state. So let's come to remedies, opium. So opium have symptoms like all complaints with great sopor, painless, complaints of nothing and wants nothing. So again, it's a state of, I don't need anything. So it's a total anesthesia, painlessness of normally painful conditions. So no pain. At one side, opium is a painless remedy. And then there is general aggravation from fright, also from excitement or even joy, which means the senses, they become so sensitive that it gets aggravated from any emotion. Why? Because every emotion is felt very, very intensely in opium. So they cause this problem. And then complaints from fright. What kind of problems? Convulsions, tremors, insomnia and chorea which means a fright is felt very, very intensely in opium. And then there is aggravation or renewed fright on every recollection of the frightened event, which triggers the symptoms. So fright causes main problems. Then there is sleeplessness with acuteness of hearing, which means his senses are so acute that everything affects them intensely, not the affection of renunculacy, but intensity is very, very strong with Papyracy, whether it's renunciation, it's just the sensitivity that they get affected. The moment they get affected, there are many emotions come out at the same time. But in opium, there is acute senses, so much acute that it is very, very intense, and it intensity causes problem at the mental level. It causes convulsions or it causes any comatose or unconscious condition. And this shows that there is screaming before or during a spasm. Means spasm is very, very intense as to cause screaming. There is spasm of children from approach of strangers from nursing after fright of mother. When the mother is frightened and he feeds the baby, the baby comes up with spasms. So that is why opium state see eases the anxiety and makes the person more courageous. A timid person becomes bold under its influence. Then chalidonia. It's a main liver remedy. We all know that. And main symptom of chalidunia is constant pain under the lower and inner angle of right scapula. Right shoulder commonly associated with liver complaints. It's a right-sided remedy, which is relieved by hot drinks. The stool of chalidunia is like sheep's tongue. And then it also has a symptom that liver and lung pathologies, they come together. Then what about the papaverisi state? So chalidunia has symptoms, delusion, imagination that he is going to hell because he has committed an unpardonable crime. This shows hell-like state. Again, Cheridunium has it. Dreams burying alive. Dreams, death of dying. Then there is indifference with sleepiness. So we can say we see both the states, sleepiness and pain in Cheridunium also. There is faintness when undressing. There is sleepiness in liver complaints. So we can say at one side of Cheridunium, there is pain, intensity, and suffering. At one point, there is faintness and sleepiness. 
pteridomium has it. Then we have sanguinuria, which is a very good remedy for sick periodic headaches, which starts in the morning, increases the day, and it lasts till evening, and which is again relieved by sleep. So we can say pain and sleep, pain and withdrawal from pain. This has been sanguinaria. And headache, which begins in occiput, spreads upward and settles over right eye. Very strong symptom of sanguinaria. Then there is general amelioration from erectation, platus, and vomiting. Very good for sanguinaria. So this remedy also is very good remedy for hay fever, rose colds, where the patient is very, very sensitive to smell of odors, flowers, and pollens. We have discussed it when we did remedies of common cold. Sanguinaria, again, is a very good remedy for shoulder pain, worse turning in bed, worse at night in bed, worse lying on it, and worse trying to raise the arms. Sanguinaria is a remedy with the shoulder pain, which is right-sided, the patient cannot raise the arm. Very, very strong characteristic symptom of sanguinaria. And what about papaveracy group? Now, again, sanguinaria have symptoms, dreams of dead bodies dissecting. Now, just try to imagine a scene that you are dissecting a dead body then it has a rubric shrieking screaming shouting headache during very intense again this shows the intensity of suffering then morphinum the morphinum again has a symptom extreme susceptibility to pain convulsions spasms during pain shock induced by terror so we can again see in morphinum that there is intensity of symptom intensity of complaints delirium pains from driving him to madness so on one side we can see morphinum have pain and intensity of suffering then again we have a allah rubric that is stupefaction as if intoxicated after apoplexy so it this remedy also has stupefaction trans morphinum sleepiness overpowering sleep while talking so again morphinum has two sides at one side there is pain suffering intensity at other side we have trans stupefaction sleepiness means withdrawal from the painful state so this two sides depicts papaveracy so we have argimon mexicana colicky crampy spasms of the bowels painful neuromuscular condition preventing sleep rheumatic diseases associated with Bright's disease. So we don't have much symptoms of Argimone, but we can see the state of painfulness in Argimone Mexicana. So what, what we can see on all these remedies is, at one side, we have intense pain, intense suffering, like torture, like hell. And what the reaction of patient is, the patient wants to withdraw from it. So I have clinically confirmed that the patients with papaveracy family, ke, the moment they experience any kind of stress, they go sleepy. You will also experience this, ki jaisi patient ho, ki tension hoti hai, koi stressful condition hoti hai, they want to sleep, they want to isolate, they want to go away from that painful condition. So sleepiness is a very, very strong symptom. Jaisi halki tension hoi, they just want to sleep. Jaisi halki tension hoi, unko apne api nee jani shiru jati hai, which means they want to cut off from the painful stimulus, just cut off. So here we can differentiate papaveracy with ranunculaceae that they are very similar remedies, very similar families because they both show sensitivity. But in ranunculaceae, the sensitivity was like raw nerves as if your nervous system is directly exposed to the environment. So they get affected by almost small, small everything. Whereas in papaveracy, this also have very, very strong sensitivity, but that sensitivity has to go with not many emotions together, like in tranquility, but this have specific kind of emotions, and those emotions are felt intensely, very, very intensely. Another difference is with tranquility, the moment they experience any stimulus from the outside world, there are many emotions they come out together, one emotion on top of the other. But with papaveracy, uh, when they get stimulus from the outside world, it is experienced so deeply inside, so deeply inside that they want to cut off from the 